Okay, it slipped off. But ladies and gentlemen, a bust of our friend Harry S. Truman awarded to Senator Jack Danforth. Phil, thank you. One, one way to shorten the program would be to make me hold all of these things. <laughs> This is a, uh, it really is a wonderful honor, and I am uh, delighted to be here and to, and to receive this, uh, this uh, honor named after the greatest all-time citizen of our state of Missouri, Harry Truman. Um, and also to, to know that the point of this is not only to recognize Harry Truman, uh, our outstanding Missourian, but also to recognize the, uh, the principles of being a good neighbor and being a good citizen. And uh, as I said last night at the little dinner party uh, that Phil hosted, I think it's very important for each one of you who are members of this community of Kansas City to recognize what a wonderful place it is that you live in and to be proud of being in Kansas City. And I've been very proud to have had the opportunity to serve you in public office for now more than a quarter of a century. As Kit mentioned, uh, he didn't quite know how Tr Harry Truman would feel about honoring a Republican member of the Senate. And I must say that the same thought has crossed my mind, but I have not dwelled on it at any great length. I'm just enjoying the event. <laughs> but I have thought about how Harry Truman might think about something that I think is, is happening now in our country. In America, we have always uh, had a very healthy skepticism about government and about politicians. And it's a skepticism for good reason. Um, if we ever got to a point as Americans of really believing that the answer to all of the needs of the country could somehow be delivered by politicians or by government, we would be a very different country from what we are. But I've been concerned that the healthy skepticism about government has crossed over to uh, a very corrosive brand of cynicism, where people assume that politicians are, are all corrupt and that government is totally incompetent and can't do anything, and that somehow all of our needs could be taken care of if only we had uh, better people in public office or they, they did the right thing. And so I've been, as I think anybody who would receive this award would do, combing through the various say sayings of Harry Truman to try to figure out what he would say to those of us today about government and about politics. And to people who say that, well, politicians are out of touch and government is distant and remote and out of touch, that is one thing people say today. Here's what Harry Truman said. He said, our government is made up of the people. You are the government. I am only your hired servant. And that is correct. What, what we do, what Kit Bond and I and Mayor Cleaver and other people at all levels of government do is respond to you. And um, I think that, you know, given mass communications, we are probably closer now than ever in history to the people. So it really, I don't think, is correct to just say, well, government is something up there or out there or something that doesn't hear us. Maybe government is so busy trying to hear and trying to please everybody at all times that that creates an over-expectation of what government should be and a kind of frantic effort on the part of government to try to satisfy all the needs of, of all the people. To those who say that politicians are bad people and the politics politics is dirty business here's what harry truman said and in today's time i guess he would have changed one word because he uses the word man 
And I guess he would have said person had he said it today. But here's what Harry Truman said about politics. He said, I'm proud that I'm a politician. A politician is a man who understands government and it takes a politician to run a government. A statesman is a politician who's been dead 10 or 15 years. <laughs> and then there are those who talk about gridlock and about how inefficient government is and it just can't do things quite right. And here is what Harry Truman said. Efficiency alone is not enough in government. Hitler learned that efficiency without justice is a vain thing. Democracy does not work that way. Democracy is a matter of faith. Faith is much more than efficiency. That's what Harry Truman said about government. Back um, a couple of years ago when various people were announcing in the Senate that they weren't going to seek a re-election back for the 1992 election, I knew at that time that it was my intention to announce my own retirement from politics. And I made up my mind at that time to say to everybody who would listen, everybody in our state who would listen, that unlike those who announced their retirements two, three years ago, unlike all those who complained about how frustrated they were and how terrible it all was, and who practically said that we should feel sorry for them because they had to serve in public office, I made up my mind to say exactly the opposite. And I want to say that to you today. Serving in public office has been the realization of a childhood dream for me. It has been the greatest privilege and the most satisfying career that I could ever imagine. And for it, I am grateful to all of the people of our state, even those misguided souls who undoubtedly would have been following the advice of Harry Truman and voting against me. <laughs> I believe that the system works. I believe that politics works. I believe that we happen to live in the most wonderful place that God has ever put on this earth and under the best system that's ever been conceived of by the minds of human beings. And that is our American form of democratic government. And I'm proud to have been a part of it. And people say, well, then why are you leaving it? Well, I'm leaving because I think it's the right thing for me to do. And because as this, this award indicates, good neighbor award, what is really important, I think, is what goes on in our communities and in our neighborhoods and how we relate to each other as human beings across all of the chasms that exist within specific communities. So for that reason, I am especially honored to be receiving something called the Good Neighbor Award. It really is a great privilege. Thank you very much.